Hello, let's make your first smart contract using Java. It will be a simple tutorial on how to create a classical Hello World program. You will need Java 8 development kit. It must be Java 8, not 9 or 10. Git source control and VS Code or other interactive development environment on your system. So let's go to a terminal and check do we have it. don't have something, just use your Google search skill and install it. Now we need to clone BlobTalk from GitHub. Let's use our search skill. You can see here is the Burst Up Steam organization. We are the main developers of Burst. Don't forget to give a star for BlobTalk. Now you see I am using VS Code. You can use other development environments. For VS Code you will need to install some extensions for Java to work. So let's go to the samples folder and choose Hello World Smart Contract. You can see that Joss BlockTalk developer writes many comments and explains all. Here is only one method transaction recited. This method is always called when smart contract gets that transaction. Mouse over it and you will see which parameters it, it accepts. Message, amount and address to which send this message. Let's edit this message. Here you can see not a hard-coded address, but another method. Mouse over it and you can see what it does. It means that smart contract will send the message back to address from which it got a transaction. More methods available for you to use in the smart contracts, you can find in the contracts file. Let's go back, push run. Here you can see emulator. Let's click a compile button. Sorry, I am using 4K monitor and Linux don't scale it. Here you can see smart contracts, byte coder, which will be published in the blockchain. To publish a smart contract will cost some fee. So let's connect to a burst node and create an account. Just search Burst Testnet. Here you can see Burst Testnet wiki page. Scroll down. When I was recording this video, this node doesn't work. Let's go to this node. It is uh, a test test, so here coins worth nothing. Let's push returning user. Here just type word first or second. I prepared these accounts for you. Here you can see your address. If this account empty, please inform me, I will fill it. Let's go back to VS Code. Here you can change a contract's name. 
Here you can change the description of a contract, smart contracts creation, transactions, deadline. Fee for place in the blockchain. Execution fee of this smart contract. Let's change it to recommended. Now let's type password of your burst account. In this example I am using first. Let's publish it. Smart contract's name can't contain white space or other special hard. Here you don't see your smart contract because it needs some time to be added to the blockchain. Let's go to the explorer. Here you can see smart contracts creation transaction. Now let's go to the explorer. It is Zox Explorer, but you can see that it is not uh, testnet but mainnet explorer. So let's find testnet explorer. Here you can see Lev's Explorer. In pending transactions, you see your smart contract creation transaction. You can see that account uh, addresses matches. So let's wait until the transaction will be recorded to the blockchain. I forget to push a record button, so I will repeat my actions. Here you can see smart contracts creation transaction. Every smart contract gets his unique address. Let's found it. Just repeat previous steps and push a my contracts button. You need to enter a password of an account from which you publish it the smart contract. So again, type first copy address. Let's make a, a transaction to the smart contract. You need to send the minimal amount which you set in its creation time. Now let's wait some time until our transactions will, will be greeted to the blockchain. Now we see that our transactions are accepted to the blockchain. Now we need to wait for one more block to get an answer from the smart contract. After one block, we got an answer from the smart contract. But why we got only one answer from contract, not two? It is because both transactions were made from the same address in the same block. So the smart contract saw it as one transaction and answered it only once. Here you can see the message you got from the smart contract. Originally it is hex number. But the user interface converts it to human friendly format. That's all. You just saw how to create a simple smart contract. Don't wait and publish your own. If you have questions or want to know more, just leave a comment and don't forget to push like.